Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you dears? Are you fine? Well, this is Sayyid Samuel Haq and you're watching my YouTube channel, Sami Ayels. Dear students, today I'm here again to resume the previous session. And uh, guys, if you remember, this is my third video that I'm recording and it's all about capitalization. Uh, I hope that inshallah this video and all this series will definitely you know help you a lot when you start writing something and I'm really really certain that you guys will definitely inshallah improve your capitalization chapter really it's a big chapter and this chapter is not only for your uh, you know for your only uh, lower exams such as your school level or college level even tomorrow if you're appearing in different international exams IELTS and TOEFL, PTE, CAE, CSS, PMS or even you know you know even uh, PMS everywhere this chapter will polish your writing skills so guys Without wasting more time, let's start. Guys, before I you know, resume my previous session, let me tell you a little bit about my uh, last point that I discussed with you. We opened capitalization chapter and uh, in that capitalization chapter, you know, if you remember, I told you there are some 25 to 30 total rules that I have collected and I'll be discussing all these rules one by one and with, with examples with more explanation so that, you know, the things become more clear and you can get the quality learning and you can get the quality education as well. Uh, last point that we discussed that was all about um, uh, you know rule number 10 and there was a name of a proper thing guys if you remember I said that whenever you write any name of a proper thing for example if I say marker so this marker is okay so now you know a common noun if I say marker I need a marker so guys remember marker M is always small but if in case you want to you know highlight this marker and you want to make it more clear you want to you know okay make it proper if I say okay I like, you know, just, um, uh, I need dollar marker, right? Okay. Then remember guys, then dollar D must be capital and marker M must be small. That was my last point. And now let's proceed and let's discuss rule number 11, guys. Guys, you know, please must watch this video till the end. And then, you know, I'm going to record my more videos as well on the same chapter because this chapter is very rich. There are so many more things that, uh, you know, I need to go in detail. So must watch till the last part so that you can understand each and every point of, you know, capitalizing the letters. And yes, many, many exceptional cases as well. Definitely, you will find this, you know, video more rich, inshallah, with full of knowledge. Rule number 11, guys, address. Now, remember students, address again very common mistake whenever students write addresses fine for example you write the address of uh, you know any any house and normally when we are sending letters okay so the at the at the back of the envelope you know we write the letters sorry uh, you know we write the sorry at the back of the letters you know or even at the back of the envelope if you know if you just uh, if you remember so there we write the addresses and guys remember address v we always find very, you know, like hustle bustle in addresses. Yeah. Today I'm telling you a very, you know, like uh, straight and very easy methodology how to write an address. First of all, guys, whenever you store your address, start from the smaller unit and then go to the bigger than the biggest unit. Let me give you an example. For example, you just want to write an address. Now, first of all, and the supreme of all, that is, you should start with the, with the, with the smallest unit, house, okay, house name, for example, Sayyid house, okay, now Sayyid house, that is the house name, and now look, Sayyid S capital, and house H is also capital, then 
a comma. You know, comma is always representing a small pause and it shows that, okay, something is more coming there. Still, the things are not done. I'll discuss inshallah comma in my punctuation chapter again in detail, but this is here a small click. Okay, now, Sayyid house, then after that, then remember students, house number. Now, house number, this is a bit bigger unit, fine. So, house H is always a capital. So, the next unit is again capitalized. After that, then, you know, even bigger, street. Now, Sayyid house, house name. Okay, house number is one. Where is this house? Where is this house? This house is in street number two, right? As I told you earlier, that whenever you start writing an address, always start, you know, with the small unit and then go towards the bigger and biggest then. Now, street, as is again capital. Where is street? This street. This is in Gulbahar. Okay, right. So, Gulbahar and then Gulbahar Kaluni. Then, look, you know, G capital and then Kaluni also C capital. Now, where is this Gulbahar? This is on GT Road. Okay, again, G and T, right? Again, capital there. And R is also capitalized. And after that, where is GT Road? This is in Peshawar. Okay, then Peshawar, P capital. Where is Peshawar? This is in Pakistan. So, guys, remember, that's the way that you should write the address. Okay, and guys, remember, if if an address is having five parts or ten parts or three parts, okay? Every part must be capitalized. If you see here, how many parts are there, uh, you know, in this address? Sayyid house, okay. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, there are ten words in this address and every word is capitalized. Second thing, guys, you learned... And that is that, you know, look, this address is started from the very smallest unit, okay? Very, you no, know, like the, 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 the smallest unit it started with. And then it went and it went to the biggest unit and that is Pakistan there. Guys, is it clear now? Okay, it is all about uh, uh, rule number 11. Now, rule number 12. Guys, rule number 12 is actually he, him and his. Before I discuss this rule, I just want to you know, tell you that, remember, he, him, and his. I don't mean to say that, okay, he is always capitalized, okay? He, him, and his. They're, okay, they're small, but if, you know, these three words are used for the name of Allah, yes, okay? For example, if he is representing Allah, if his is representing Allah, or if, if him is representing Allah. So that, you know, in that case, then this H must be capital. And this his H must be capital. And him, this S must always be capitalized. For example, i just give you one example here now. I met him yesterday. I met him yesterday. In this sentence, if we see only I is capital. Only I is capital. Right? And... And now you learned. If you watch my previous video, the very first video, if you watch, you know, uh, the series of capitalization, find the first video. So there, rule number five or rule number six, that was. And then I told that, okay, I is always, you know, capital. Because I is representing, okay, you, I is always a first person pronoun. In this sentence, only I is capital. And now you know the rule, you know the reason, and you can justify this I, that why you wrote this I capital. Other than I, you see, look, you know, all the letters are small. Now, him is also there, but this H is small. It's not capital. Now, what are those cases where, you know, we write him H capital, and his H capital, and he H capital? I told earlier, when him, his, and, you know, he, when these words are used instead of Allah. For example, guys, there is a very famous poem. And if you remember, the voice of God in your school level, right? The voice of God there. The man asked Allah. The man asked Allah where he lived. Full stop. Allah replied that he lived among the people. Dear students, if you see in this sentence, look, uh, T is capital. And now you have. You have the reason that, okay, why this T is capital? I start, you know, start of writing. Guys, remember rule number one? Start of writing. After that, then Allah. Ah, yes. Rule number 
27 or 28. I'll teach this, okay? That why Allah, A-L-L-A-H, all capital. So wait for my next video. There I'll be, inshallah, explaining that why this special case, Allah. Okay, after that, where he lived, if you see like, you know, this D is capital, after that, then, 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 you know, H is capital. So remember this H is basically representing, you know, when this is used instead of Allah. So, you know, the man asked Allah where he lived, here means here Allah, right? So this H, this H is capital because this is representing Allah. After that, Allah replied that he, again, H is Capital because this is again representing the name of Allah. He replied among the people. So dear student, this is rule number uh, 12. And remember students that whenever you write he, him and his, right? And these three words are used for Allah. Then if, if this he or his or him, if these words come anywhere in the beginning of the sentence, capital already. If they come in the middle of the sentence, Capital, if they come even, you know, at the end of the sentence, capital, all alone, heading, anywhere. Guys, remember, we never write these three words small if they are representing Allah. Rule number 13. Yes. Hmm. Guys, rule number 13, heading. Very important chapter. A lot of mistakes when students write headings. Okay, I'll go in detail and I'll be discussing this chapter once in this video, right? So there are, all, there, are, there are so many exceptional cases and I'll be discussing all those exceptional cases in this, uh, you know, one go so that I shouldn't record another video for exceptional cases, okay? Let's start with headings. Guys, uh, titles, headings, okay? Make sure that whenever you write any heading or any title, every word must be started with a capital letter. If a heading is having three words, or if a heading is having five words, or if a heading is having, you know, like ten words, right? Remember, students, every word must be started with a capital letter. Normally, we don't have such long, long headings like 10, 10 words and 8, 8 words. But okay, we have like 4, 5, 6, you know. So we have, this is like, okay, normal length of a heading. Okay, let me give you an example here, please. Focus here. For example, you want to write an essay. I would talk about matrix students i would talk about you know like intermediate students or whatever the case is but when you when you compose an essay and you say my country and you want to give it a heading okay now my country now m capital country c capital guys you know sometimes you write an application or a letter and then in letter you know you say dear sir right or in application you say dear madam or dear sir or respected sir or respected madam or whatever the case is right and then you write you know this dear d capital s s must be capital there because they you know these are headings guys if you remember in your applications huh when you're composing different applications and i'm sure that you must have composed so many applications when you were studying at school and college there Huh? Especially, you know, like, uh, especially there in school levels, yes. Uh, students compose, uh, you know, school living certificate, you know, and uh, sick leave and urgent piece of work and so many applications that, uh, you know, your teachers ask you to practice. And then many applications even you have composed uh, in your, you know, uh, final exams as well. School living certificate. Again, heading is there. S capital, L capital, C capital. Hmm. Guys, remember when you compose an application and then you start your application, D principal, right? Then T capital, principal, P capital. And then this is basically the address that you, you just know you're composing. Now, this is the principal of which school, right? So this is, okay, any dummy school, A, B, C school, A, B, C, fine, capital, school, S capital, then again, comma, comma, then Peshawar. Where's the school? The school is in Peshawar, okay? Then Peshawar and then P capital and then full stop there guys can you see this is you know all because this is a heading this is a heading so i give you like you know different examples fine 
and headings, titles, whatever you write, every part must be started with a capital letter. Exceptional cases. Mm. Very big chapter. Exceptional cases, guys. Be careful, students. I just told you that every part must be capitalized in heading. If there are five words or six words or three words or four words, right? Every part must be capitalized. But there are some exceptional cases. The first case, list of words not capitalized in titles or in headings. Huh? What's the first one? Articles. Guys, remember, if article comes in a heading, it is always written small. How many articles are there in English grammar? There are only three articles in English grammar. The first is A, second N, and the third is the, right? If these words, if they appear in title or if they appear in heading, they're always small. Short words, short words like uh, fewer than four letters, like normally phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs, guys, remember, if any phrasal verb appears in title or in heading. Phrasal verb means like, you know, verb plus preposition, okay? The combination of verb plus preposition is called a phrasal verb, and it's also called a verb phrase. For example, run into, run into, for example, fill in, for example, fill out, for example, fill up, huh? for example, turn up, Turn down. These kind of words, when they are appeared in uh, headings or in titles, they are always small. Okay? They should not be capitalized. The third exceptional case, and that is preposition. Yes, if any preposition appears in heading or in title, for example, in, on, a, to, for, with, before, after, these are basically prepositions, and when they appear in headings, they are always small. They are never written capital. Conjunctions. Conjunctions again. <coughs> Sorry. Conjunctions, in, but, you know, these are all conjunctions, right? And there are, there are okay, there is a list of conjunction, right, that you can just find, uh, you know, in different grammar books or even online there. So all those conjunctions are small, okay? They are never written capital, although they will be the part of the heading, although they will be the part of the titles, but they're always small. They are never written capital. For example, let me give you, you know, quick examples here. A visit to the zoo. This is now heading. In this example, if we see a visit to the zoo, now there are five words in this heading. Guys, if you see A is capital, now what is A? This, this, this A is basically article, and we just studied that article is never, you know, written uh, in caps lock. It is always written in small letters. But the thing is that this is, you know, the very first word or the start of writing. Rule number one, guys, remember, yeah, rule number one is that's why it is, it is capital. Otherwise, if this R comes in the center, so this is always small. Okay, now this is capital. Visit V capital. Now, two is also the part of the heading. But two is a preposition, so it is small. The T is a preposition, uh, sorry, um, article. So this D is also small. Zoo, okay, this is now word, simple word. Okay, so this Z is capital. If you see another one, population explosion in Pakistan, right? Now population P capital, explosion E capital in Pakistan. In is a preposition, that's why in is small, I, I, I small. In Pakistan, P is capital here. If you see technology in everyday life, so technology T capital, right? And then in, then again, in this a preposition is I small and everyday E capital and life L capital there. A word of excellence. Now, a word A is capital, excellence E capital, but of O is a preposition, it is small there. Students' network of Zen studies in the same case there, of is a small, of is a preposition, it is small there. After that, guys, alert. Alert, please. In headings, remember, do not use apostrophe, okay? Yes, if you write, if you write, 
For example, avoid using apostrophes in headings. Example, students class. Now, students class. Student, this is a name of, okay, like, you know, students person, yeah? And class, okay, name of thing. Now, if you, if you write this in a sentence, in a, you know, you know, in a connecting sentence, okay, then yes, we must use apostrophe. But guys, remember, if we write in heading, then please avoid using, this is like very informal, although I've seen, you know, like many headings and they have written, yes, you know, apostrophes uh, in titles and headings, but this is not a recommended one, you know, and this is not a very, you know, recommended style that you're using apostrophes in headings. This is, this is the best version and that is okay, a bit like, you know, less formal, okay. Let's discuss, you know, another one, right? And that is uh, uh, closing of application or closing of letter. This is, I've really seen, you know, like this is a very common mistake of my students, even, you know, uh, again and again, again and again, like, you know, I just advise my students all the time that please, students, whenever you close an application, whenever you close a letter, so please be careful, but they're, you know, applying the same capitalization rules there for example look application closing when you want to close your application yours obediently i've seen many guys you know what they do they write like this yours obediently this all must be small please okay it must not be capital right and look so this is right and this is wrong even when you're you know when you when you're closing letters i've seen yours sincerely so yours sincerely as a small please is you know it should not be capital it is always very much incorrect if you're writing sincerely as capital there okay so even yours truly and then again you know this t the students are writing t capital so guys remember Please don't write, you know, the closing uh, headings, okay, uh, capital. This is, you know, like, again, exceptional case after that. Remember, yes, what, what I just taught you, students, I just taught you that whenever, whenever article, the word the, T-H-E, this word, Whenever this word comes in a heading, so what happens? Capital. No. Always small. Okay? Don't write this the capital. Always small. Okay, if the word the comes in the beginning of the heading, that is always capital. But some, some nouns are having this word the, and this the is basically the part of the noun. So if it is if it is the part of the noun, then this is always capital. And if it is not the part of the noun, if it is only used to make a noun from common to proper, so then this D is always small. Let me give example because examples will make the things more clear. For example, I studied in a school. Now, I studied in a school. Which school? Is it clear? No. I studied in a school. Fine. Okay. Yeah. Now, this school is now common. Now, you want to make, you want to convert this noun from common to proper. Right. School is a common noun. Okay. Which school? The Peshawar model is school. Oh, okay. 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 If you ask me, which school did you study? And I say, I study in a school. Huh? And then you ask me, no, no. Name the school. Which school? I say the Peshawar model school. So here now basically I'm not using this D because this is the part of the school. No, 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 no. Here I'm using this D. This is just, you know, just to make a, a noun from common to proper. So I'm converting it from common to proper. Then I'm using the word D. So guys, remember, I studied in a school here. This is a common noun and this is now proper noun. And when I and when you change a common noun to proper noun, then we always put D there. So this D is not the part of the school. This is always small. I give you this no, an example. I studied at the educators. Hmm. Now, guys, remember, this D is not, you know, used just to make a common noun you know, or to convert a common noun to a proper noun. No, this is basically a part of the name. This is, you know, part of the name. So then this D must be capital. Guys, are you kidding me? I studied in the elementary school. 
Now, this is not even the part of the name. Right? So, again, this D is small. This D is a part of the name? Capital. This D is a part of the name? No. Small. So, guys, remember, exceptional cases are so many. I hope you understood, okay, that... You know, you will see many D's and they will be small. And you will see many D's and they'll be capital. And then students are always surprised and they're thinking, man, this D is small, this D is capital. And, you know, this is in the heading and this is in the sentence and why this and why that. So try to understand there are exceptional cases, okay? I hope you understood now, guys. Dear students, I hope that, uh, uh, well, this is... Uh, the end of uh, this uh, video, uh, we discussed 13 rules today, alhamdulillah, and uh, now, I, as I told you earlier that there are more than, you know, 25 up to 30 rules of capitalization. Dear students, once you learn all these rules, inshallah, inshallah, you will never make a mistake. I am really, you know, like very much certain that after, after you learn these all rules, Whenever you write anything in English, so you must have all these 25 to 30 rules in your mind. And if you write anything in English, if it is one of those rules, it is always capital. If not from these 30 rules, it is always small. I hope that you learned something today. Wait for my next video where I'm going to teach, inshallah, more rules. Okay, 13 rules are done today. Right. And my next video, inshallah, I'm going to record maybe again some five, six, seven rules. And then then we can close this chapter maybe after a couple of more videos. I hope that uh, just you keep on watching Sami IELTS, keep on watching the quality education. I hope that inshallah, inshallah, it is helping you. And um, uh, well, yes, if there is any question, please, guys, do drop the questions below in the description right in the comment box everything is mentioned there you can ask any question you have my whatsapp number as well please just see my whatsapp number right you have any question straight away drop me a message you can ask me anything i'm always here inshallah have a nice day have a nice time take very good care of yourself and take care of this channel as well sami ayers see you soon inshallah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah Thank <laughs> you.